<laughs> like ten years, years ago. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, did you have a favorite day that we could talk about? Just just because of my personal interest, um, I always like the what licensed RPGs does anybody want to see? But right. that's that's just really me because I'm so freaking obsessive about licensed RPGs. <laughs> this is all about our happiness. So let's let's talk about that. And uh, um, I on day eighteen, which was the favorite. You know, what's your not your favorite of all time? But I forget mm -hmm. what the actual question how the actual question goes. Yeah. But I rewrote the lyrics to Friday I'm in Love. Oh yes. <laughs> as a as a as a love letter to the ubiquity role playing system. <laughs> which awesome. made, which made me laugh. I'm the only one who laughed, but it made me laugh. <laughs> Let's dance. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages gathered around the world at the fireside of the internet. RPG a day, 10th anniversary edition, 2023. It's finished. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Very much so. You managed to post every day this year. I, I know it's a bit of a surprise. It certainly surprised me anyway, because I had deadlines and things, um, and I watched them sailing by, uh, and um, but but managed to get the, all the posts. And some of them were a bit brief, um, but they were. That I managed to do what I wanted to do, which was how think of the question from this year and see what i'd originally mm. replied in the first year uh, and see if things had changed um so so yeah that, it was it was a very good good experience doing that but, but yeah managed to do it was there a, a big change that you had noticed in any of it um i i don't that's uh, what about 50 50 i think some some of the earlier ones um are, are basically the same um but there have been some changes in my gaming style right and things that i've been playing um especially playing things like um tales from the loop and that has 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 really changed my approach to gaming uh, and made things a lot easier so they've kind of that's that's kind of crept up into my favorites uh, so, the, so that's kind of uh, booted a few out, unfortunately. But. Sure. I was curious. I wanted to ask you about the edition question. Like in ten years, we've had a number of new editions of some pretty big games and things. Was mm. there a new edition of anything that you no longer need because you got it? Um, I think Star Trek really leapt in there because i think when i was talking originally about it i was saying how i really thought that there should be a new star trek game and how there should be a new version of james bond um sort of thing with, the system but, is out there now but not the game yeah but yeah the um but yeah the the, the we, we've had a new trek one since that first year and and it's awesome too it was it really, really cool and yeah they're doing great things with it i really really want to pick, pick up the um um captain's log solely thing see how that works yeah, um that's, that's nice. very intriguing and i was very excited when they announced their lower decks um supplement because i love lower decks it's just so good <laughs> um but yeah yeah it's, it's nice to see that something's happened in, in there but. yeah that's cool so what was your favorite of your own responses this year or which which oh, day you hope that someone will stumble across in the future 
possibly I mean the uh, obscure one which was trying to shine shine a light on um the other we evolve publications was was quite good because I I really think more people should be checking out um the gaslight club and uh, Aegean and uh and the other and all those ones and I also have a very soft spot for the um your favorite licensed RPG because I just really like to see what people um want to see because I have a bit of a, a thing for the licensed RPGs and I, I managed to ah uh, I don't know I, I I I I was very restrained and I didn't just say X Files over and over again um <laughs> but um but X yeah, Files, it, Harry Potter, X Files, Harry Potter, X Files. <laughs> yeah, sort of, I, I gritted my teeth and just and didn't didn't start the post with the truth is out there or anything like that. So I was very good. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> the license is out there. Yes, it is. One day, one day. Yeah, it could happen. I mean, Terminator's been licensed now, and, and uh, mm. who knows. Well, that's cool. Did you see any responses about licenses? That uh... Uh, yeah, a lot. A lot of them seem to be um, some very old ones. I, I saw a lot of people wishing for the Ghostbusters RPG to come back, yeah. um, and I, I do love that game. It was the one that got me into game writing, uh, and I, it's it's a tough one because. It was so perfect at the time, yeah. and it's a very hard one to improve on. Yeah, uh, that, they, that's kind of where I ended up with with my responses was I picked kind of to talk about new additions rather than give a new edition. Mm. And it, it struck me that a lot of these older games, which have that kind of perfect nature for for its time or for you or whatever, yeah, can still be repackaged. Yes, <laughs> and uh, things that were separate books can be joined together into one glorious book. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's hard. It's hard to. Uh... Yeah, I mean, even when Ghostbusters came back itself as Ghostbusters International, it wasn't quite as popular as the original one. Um, but it's it's nice to see that the old. West End game system has made a comeback because uh, was it Carbon Gray uses the the old um, original Star Wars RPG right. system. Um, so so yeah, it's it's nice that the the stuff from our youth is making a comeback in some way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right on. <laughs> what are? I'm going to start this question again. Every year we have translations. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Great. And that's always good. And and as always, thanks to the people who do the translating for me. Um, and because, and yeah, it's so much better that somebody's actually putting some effort in doing it like that rather than me shoving it into Google Translate and getting it all horribly wrong. <laughs> yes. What is your favorite RPG sandwich? <laughs> <laughs> Um, and there were, there was a lot of activity on the Facebook yes. page this year, up from good activity in past years to a lot of activity this year. It was nice to see. Yeah, I think that's where I, I did most of my um, response reading um, was on the Facebook page. So, so that, that was definitely it. Certainly easier to find than the newer social medias that haven't quite embraced the hashtags yet right <laughs> even even ones that have some of them are they you know, have a siloed nature you know they're searchable mm -hmm. internally but not externally so one of the things I, I find that has changed more this year than previous years uh, are groups choosing to do rpg a day as a group or as a community together but in a in a private zone such as on a discord or in a forum and uh, 
So I've been hearing about exchanges, which are really cool, but not able to access them myself unless I, you know, go and join that Discord. Uh, yeah, at my age, I don't even know what a Discord is. Um, I no, I know, I'm, I, I'm aware of its being. I'm aware of its being. I just, I'm not very good at it. <laughs> So it's been it's been really interesting to see um, how it has actively taken on a life in ten years. How translation went from nothing to a lot of languages to people signing on, you know, year after year to do those translations, and it moving from being. I think your initial conception really was Instagram, wasn't it? Yeah, I just just anything to keep me occupied really um so yeah it was just i did i didn't think anybody else was going to join in so instagram <laughs> and of course it's very easy to to link to facebook mm. but then it you know twitter and 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 it just keeps growing you know g plus was a was a big one and oh, i miss the g plus days yeah <laughs> <laughs> so it's been it's been pretty interesting i've seen the thing that has gotten me the the happiest, I guess, with this RPG a day, there were two things. One was the contest that we launched it with from the Nerds RPG Variety Cast. That just really made my day when that when that got announced out of the blue, mm -hmm. and it generated a lot of response from from different podcasters, mostly from what used to be Anchor and is now Spotify for for podcasters. Yeah and uh and being able to hear all these different voices coming coming through uh with responses uh has been Amazing. has been great and of course makes it easier to find new podcasts uh, mm. that way and this has been uh this has been a real podcasting year for me you know listening listening to a lot of podcasts so the more that i can find that are talking about role-playing games not you know a role-playing game but role playing games uh, has been uh, has been a big part of my RPG life this year. But uh, so that was cool. That was how we launched things. And then as we went through, I kept hearing this kind of repeated refrain of I've restarted my podcast, my blog or, you know, my my RPG posting and I'm going to start with RPG a day, you know, and then for whatever reason that they've they've picked it you know and uh, and uh, quite a few people i heard this year say i've never finished this before <laughs> or maybe this year and a lot of them were able to awesome that's Which, really good you know i kept checking in it's like is is it there is there one there is there one there they fizzled out yet yeah. <laughs> uh, so that's been that's been really cool that people have been able to do that and uh, and I think part of that is the nature of the first the first year questions, which are not easy questions. No, no, not at all. <laughs> they, are, they are generally approachable questions. I think. What do you so think? Talking of question. Well, yeah, I was just going to say, talking of questions, what on earth are we going to do for next year? <laughs> well, next year, well, we're going to change the three to a four, and then sort it. <laughs> <laughs> no, <I'm not> <laughs> um, we have a lot of ideas. We had a lot of suggestions last year for what to do for this year, and of course, mm -hmm. your creativity uh, knows no bounds. And uh, I occasionally come up with an idea myself. So uh, I think. I think 2024 could be pretty interesting. So, um, what else can we say about RPG a day? I will be doing a reflections on RPG a day podcast episode um, in the next little while. And talking about my experiences with, uh, with RPG a day and I have promised a, a one more YouTube video, uh, <laughs> which uh, to let the cat out of the bag a little bit is a, a collection of greatest hits, cool things I found on the internet um, for RPG Great. Day. 
2023. I just <laughs> haven't had time to actually get the video out there. No, that's, that's going to be great. I look forward to that. Yeah, so that's that's always been the highlight of of RPG Day for me is finding you know surprising and cool stuff. You know, mm. you know, we need a we need a new edition of this game, or we need someone to get a license of that game, or this was my favorite encounter ever, or my scariest game, or you know, that, <laughs> that kind of stuff. And uh, just as a as a kind of proof of concept, today I heard. A story about a person who is a strong fan, let's say, of one edition of a, a well-known game, mm -hmm. recognizing that one of their favorite encounters of all time took place in one of their least favorite editions of the popular game. And the wow. reasons why were very moving, you know, the, the group the the skill of the participants involved and the focus on creativity and and interaction and listening to each other and you know collaborating making decisions acting reacting interacting all those things that a, a role playing game is about all positive and you know, you know the reporter was very happy to report that this was one of their memorable experiences and uh, it was just it was great to see. It was classic. So, I guess until next year. Yeah, yes, definitely until next year, unless everybody messages me and says, "No, nah, I think I've had enough now." Ten, ten years is enough. <laughs> yeah, that'll do. <laughs> that'll do, Pig. That'll do. <laughs> How can you possibly do eleven years? It's impossible. <laughs> There are no questions left to be asked. There's no more positivity left left in the tank. <laughs> <laughs> but I bet we could be surprised. Let's hope so. Well, thanks for taking the time to join me for this farewell. And thank you to uh, RPG A Day 2023, 10th anniversary edition for all those who participated and uh, have stopped by youtube to see what's what's going on like i said there will be uh, one more video kind of a, a not a greatest hits but a biggest smiles from me kind of video uh <laughs> from this year and you know I'll, I'll throw a friendly challenge out there if you think there's you know stuff out there that you've seen that deserves sharing either send it my way or make it yourself you know remix and and reuse and recycle and celebrate the, <laughs> the cool stuff that's out there. Good. Okay. Thanks, David. Thank you again for all your help. That's been fantastic. My pleasure as always. And, um, and thanks to everybody who took part and as always stay multi-classy. Take care, everybody. <laughs>